everyone. Welcome to Tuesday and a direct injected dose of car news brought to you only by Auto Week. I'm Julie and here's what's on the grid. A judge has ruled Toyota must face lawsuits about unintended acceleration. A federal court rejected the company's request to throw out the claims. Stay tuned as litigation is likely to go for months if not years. Toyota was forced to recall thousands of vehicles for sticky pedal claims and other problems. So that's unintended acceleration. How about unintended lunging? The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, that's NHTSA, is investigating the Ford Freestyle for complaints that it surges forward at low speeds. More than 200 complaints have been recorded and the problem is believed to be evident in forward and backward gears. And General Motors breaks ground today on an electric motor facility in Baltimore. The ceremony was held this morning and the site will make power plants for future GM vehicles. We'll have more information on that later today. Plus, Highcroft Racing announced it has withdrawn from the 24 Hours of Le Mans and has parted ways with manufacturer partner Honda after five successful seasons in the American Le Mans series. Go to AutoWeek.com for the complete story. Okay, time to introduce you to our long-term Hyundai Sonata. It's new for the 2011 model year and Greg Migliori walks you around this sleek sedan. Hey everybody, welcome to Auto Week. I'm the news editor here, I'm Greg Migliori, and we have one of my absolute favorite things here about working for this magazine. It's a fresh new car. This is in our long-term fleet. It's the 2011 Hyundai Sonata. Now whenever we get one of these cars, it's a really exciting event at Auto Week because we only have a few of them, and we have them for a year. That means the whole staff gets to drive them, you drive them for an extended period of time, and you get to do things with them, like go up north to your cottage, take a road trip, take it to the airport. It's fun, it's sort of like what you do with your car. But again, this is the 2.0T. That means 274 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque from a turbocharged four-banger. Four-cylinder engine with 274 horsepower is pretty good. We think this is going to be a great driver, and we just got it. It's just new to our garage, so that means we haven't really driven it much, but I've spent a little bit of time in it, and I can tell you, I think this is worth a test drive at your local dealer because it's a pretty fun driver. The turbo is strong. It keeps you awake. If you're driving home at night, well, just plant the right foot in the gas, and you will feel it. This is a fun car. There's some juice under hood here. Uh, the new design is very different for 2011. It's called fluidic sculpture, kind of a marketing term, but I think this car really defines that. It starts up here in the quarter panel and it carries that attitude kind of back. Uh, not a lot of cars do that in the market. You see mid-sized cars, frankly they're all kind of squares with a curvy front end. This car does not say me too. It says, hey look, this is different, this is Hyundai. And I think it's kind of good. You got the bigger wheels, we got the nice wraparound headlights, the big grille. The hood's got a little bit of attitude going on here too. It's curved and I think you're going to like this car. So let's take a look inside. There's plenty of room in here. As you can see, we want the cloth seats, uh, you know, the very basic steering wheel, some of the nice trim. This car starts at about 25 grand. In ours, we spec'd out just a little bit with the navigation and with the satellite radio, the XM satellite radio, which took it up to about $28,000. I think that's a pretty good value for this car when you've got a good engine and uh, plenty of stuff on the inside. Okay, so that's the interior, and that's the 2011 Hyundai Sonata. We think we're going to like it. We'll reserve judgment until later, but check back with us all year, and we'll give you updates along the way. It should be fun, and this is a cool-looking car. For Auto Week, I'm Greg Migliori. That's a good looking car and the turbo engine is definitely impressive. Thanks, Greg. And thank all of you for watching. This was Auto Week TV. I'm Julie. Enjoy the drive. Thanks for watching today's edition of Auto Week TV. Be sure to catch all the latest car enthusiast news on AutoWeek.com, in Auto Week Magazine, and in AutoWeek's iPad edition.